Hello, my name is Mark Keating. I'm Head of Digital here at ISB3 Marketing. Welcome to today's podcast, where we're going to explore the integrated contact strategy model that we use at IS to help clients achieve seamless integration between their online and offline channels. Now, before we start, please click the link below to download a copy of the diagram that we're going to talk through as part of this podcast. Within B2B, the website has now become the primary channel enabling multiple stakeholders at different stages of the buying process to research your product, your brand and your services. The challenge for most organisations is how to manage this complex dialogue. Now at IS, we make this easy and we start by putting your most powerful marketing asset, your website, at the heart of the dialogue. Around the outside, we have the different channels across the top and the left that are going to drive traffic to your website. Now, depending on how much we know about the user and the channels that's going to refer this traffic, we'll take them to different places. So, for example, here we have our advertising, we have our PR, and we have our search, like our Google and Yahoo traffic. Because we don't know much about the users from these channels, typically they'll be directed to the home page. Or in some cases, we might have a separate URL on an advert that will link them through to a segmented landing page related to their industry. Across the top, we've got our social media channels. So these include our blogs, for example, on WordPress or Twitter. We have our LinkedIn uh, channel, which is a professional network. We've got our photo sharing websites like Flickr, YouTube for video, and then our various news sites, things like uh, Dig and uh, Tetrarati, that will drive traffic generated from our PR activity. Now again, with all these different channels, we know very little about the user, so they, they will be directed through to our home page here. Alternatively, within LinkedIn, we may have a user group discussing particular topics within that user's industry. We use this as an opportunity to link people through to a page that have a download on there, like a podcast or a white paper, where we can start to capture that information and get them on our marketing database. Moving over to our campaign traffic across the top here, this would typically include uh, email, email, uh, pay-per-click and banners, uh, and also mobile activity if that's relevant to the campaign. Now with these channels we can start to be more targeted. So for example if we're doing a pay-per-click campaign we would have multiple ad groups containing different keywords. These would link the user to segmented landing pages with relevant content. We can do the same with mobile. So for example we might text our customer database with a special promotion where they can redeem a code on a targeted landing page. Now with our email and email activity, because our contacts are actually on a database, we can be more personalised with our messaging and with our offers. So we could send out an email to a prospect, which would have uh, personalised by name, uh, segmented by their job function and their industry sector, and also by the value of that customer to the brand in terms of gold, silver or bronze. So for example, if they're a gold prospect, we could link them through to a key account manager whereas our bronzes will be linked through to the customer call center. So that's our email and our email, again, where we can link people to segmented pages. Now, everything that you see here is powered by a product called Dialog Manager. Within Dialog Manager, we have Content Manager, and that's essentially a B2B content management framework for your content. So that would power your home pages your landing pages, and all the content that you see here. So you can have industry news, uh, you can have your own blogs, dedicated newsrooms, your podcasts, streaming, which media video, your product selection tools, your newsrooms, everything that you want to, to manage your content. What we also do is have a metadata function, so all the other content in your website can be tagged with metadata, which improves your search engine rankings, and also provides a different way to source content within your website for your users, enabling you to build a personalised dialogue with every click. Now, linked to Content Manager, we have another product which is called Profile Manager. What Profile Manager does is for traffic that comes through your email and email activity, we use pin codes and segmented URLs to identify who that user is on the database, which means that we can track their activity through the website, the pages that they visit, everything that they download in terms of podcasts, uh, white papers, PDF documents, 
and also their visit frequency, so how often they come back to that website. What we then do is we synchronise this data on a daily basis with the organisation's CRM database so they can start to use that as part of their ongoing communications activity. For example, they might want to target everybody in the past that's downloaded the podcast and send an email to them making them aware of a new web TV channel that's going to be added to the website. What we can also do is, from this CRM database, we can link it to sales dashboards here which enable the organization's sales team in real time to identify prospects on the website. So for example, somebody could have been on the website 20 times within a week, downloaded five papers, and that's an indication that that person is ready to buy. That salesperson can then engage in a dialogue by sending them an email or by following up with a phone call. Now as far as we're concerned at IES, this is an integrated contact strategy showing you how you integrate online and offline channels, enabling you to grow your brand in this new digital age. Thank you very much for your time.